Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of Jane's Jam. I am Jane, this is my jam. Uh, before I start out today, just wanna show my bag of the day. I am carrying this, my coach. I think it's a camo bag. Just love the webbing on it, I think it's fun. And I'm carrying my perfume here. Perfume of the day is Escada Flor del Sol. So just wanted to show those items. Then um, what I'm doing today is a tag video. I was tagged by the awesome Caleb Snell to do this. Um, it's basically swapping out five bags. My understanding is the tag was started or morphed into what it is now by someone named Celeste. Um, and um, Caleb tagged me to do it, so I wanted to do it. It's basically swapping out five bags you already have with five new bags. So five bags that you maybe have an issue with or wish were a little bit different, um, you switch them out with five other alternative bags. And um, my understanding is money's no object about this with what you're gonna get. So um, I had a really hard time picking out bags that I it had in my collection that I would want to swap out for something else, which I guess is a good problem to have. I just, um, I really, really like what I have. So it, some of them are quite a stretch for me, but I have five. Um, the first one I'll start out with is, I'm just gonna start it real simple. Um, I have several of these coach totes. This one is the Pac-Man one, it's reversible. I have an Elvis one, I have two other ones. Um, these are really nice, but if I could, just to have a luxury brand. Um, I love a on-the-go GM. Uh, let's see, I'll put a picture of it right here. And I like it in the pastel colors. So I would just like that. Um, I think it's a little bit more versatile than this. I think it's probably a little bit bigger than this. And I think my, I think I feel like my items are more secure. This is pretty good, but it is kind of flimsy and kind of open. So, um, for the sake of just having one, because everybody's got a never full or on the go or something, just <laughs> FOMO kind of thing, um, I, I would do that. Uh, the next bag I have that I would switch out just to kind of show them here is my Paulen bag here. And this is, I guess it's Paulen number Dix, D-I-X. I don't know what number that is um, in French. Then again, I don't know French. I think it's French, right? comes from Spain, but it's French. I don't know. Um, the, the bag, this I would swap out on just because as much as I like this, um, the zipper's hard to open. It just, it kind of is, you know, once you get to here, you got to use both hands. Um, it's not too bad to get stuff in. It might interior's nice. I kind of like it because it, see, it's hard to close. Um, I kind of keep mine open when I'm wearing it because, um, then I can just get in and out and the items stay in pretty securely because as you can see, see what I mean about the zipper? When the, when the zipper is um, open, it's the bag's still pretty closed. So um, I usually leave it open because there's nothing falling out of here. So um, the bag I would switch this out with is uh, from a brand I don't have anything from yet. I would get the Fendi First. And um, in the red marble, here's a picture of it right here. I just think this bay is stunning. Um, I'm really intrigued by the Fendi Firsts. I like the different shape. To me, this is a little bit different too than anything out on the market. I mean, it's a version of a hobo bay, bay kind of, but it's got the rectangular shape I like, but I don't know, there's something about those Fendi Firsts. I mean, they just seem like such a perfect clutch in that red marble. Oh, I'm all about the color and I just think that bag is stunning. So that's what I would switch that bag out for. Um, another bag I'd switch is this. And now I have to say, I would never really want to switch this. Um, I have three Celine Nano luggage totes. I adore these bags. To me, this bag is the be all end all. This fits everything but the kitchen sink. It looks like a good night out bag. It looks like a good day bag. It's it's just absolutely fantastic. And the only reason I would switch this one is just because I have three and I'm supposed to swap five bags. So I suppose I could get by with two of these. Um, and the bag that I would switch this one for would be the um, Christian Dior book tote. If you, I don't know if you've seen it. Here's the yellow plaid right here. 
Um, it just came out for fall. I think it's gorgeous. Or let's go to this side. Over here on this side, I am showing the orange fluorescent. One of those two bags, I would switch for this. I think they're both absolutely beautiful. I get the small size. Um, I love anything orange, but that yellow plaid, I don't know. There's just something about it that's beautiful. So that's the uh, next bag I would switch out. And again, no, I, I can't think of a flaw with this bag. I just, I just can't. It is probably my favorite bag. In, I mean, in general, if you're picking a bag, it's my favorite bag that I, I have. Um, the next bag I would pick is my Pochette Matisse. Um, I, again, love this bag. The only fault I find in this bag, and there are not many, is this is hard to close when it's not full. I have it stuffed now pretty full. You still gotta line it up and then you get it in there. Um, sometimes it's hard to close. When you're trying to close it, you gotta make sure you got the button in the right spot. Um, so because of that, I would switch this one out and I would switch it with this one. This is the Light Lavender Chanel Double Flap, medium size in the lambskin. I, I would find a reason to swap a bag out for that bag. I don't know what it is about the lavender. I don't know what it is about me in purples and lavenders this year. Again, last year too, but I adore them. And this one from Chanel is just ah, chef's kiss. I hate saying that because everyone says it, but wow, that one is chef's kiss. So I would switch that out for that bag. I think that'd be beautiful. And the last bag I have here, uh, let me grab it. <laughs> is this and this is my um louis vuitton uh, um that's it and again nothing wrong with this bag i absolutely adore this bag i think it's fantastic i love the little pockets up here um it's very similar reminiscent to the lodge the lodge has a zip open top here this has a flap i prefer the flap um this is a beautiful bag um absolutely love it but if i had to switch it i would switch it for one bag that's extremely similar. You might be able to guess, uh, Dawn Loves Couture got this bag and had me really intrigued. Um, it is the Louis Vuitton Diane bag. I'll put that right here. As you can see, it is extremely similar to this bag. They are probably comparable in size. They even have the same closing flap. The Diane just doesn't have the two little pockets on the sides here, which I like. And the only reason I would switch it is because I do like the strap better on the um, on the Diane. Um, it has a web strap. It's kind of colorful. Uh, if we look at the strap on my um, Hudson here, this one has a bigger, thicker strap with the Vaquetta on the top here. It is very comfortable on the shoulder, but you kind of got to worry <laughs> when you have it out. You know, this one's in really good shape yet. But you still have to worry every time you take it out, if it rains, then you're a little worried that you have to um, make sure the strap is okay. And as I've said before, um, I do have some other products with webbing on them and I have scotch guarded them and I've had no issues and they stay clean and they stay nice. And so for just that reason alone, I would swap it if I had to and I was for sure swapping bags, but I really had a, a hard time. And, that makes me really happy because it makes me think that I've chosen well for myself with my bags because I really love them. I mean, it was hard to find anything wrong with any of them in my eyes. Um, and I realized, trust me, the beauty's in the eye of the beholder um, to even switch out them for. But it was fun to look at some of the other bags and think, oh, if money's no object, sure, I'll switch this out for that. And so I just thought it was a lot of fun. And so that's the bags that I would switch. I'm really curious to see what you guys might switch. I haven't seen this tag going around a whole lot. So I understand it did. Maybe I'm a, I'm a little behind the times. I understand Caleb said it was about a month or so ago that he had been tagged. So maybe that's how I missed it. I'm not sure. But I would like to tag. Um, I know Caleb only take three people, but I'll probably take more. I'm going to say Winnie BLV. I want to see what you would swap out. Um, Style by Gwenny. I always get such a kick out of your thoughts and cho choices because you have such fun color picks and stuff. So I would like to see that. Um, Debbie from Debbie's Dilemma. I'd interested, be interested to see what she would switch out. Um, and um, Dawn Loves Couture. Dawn, would you switch from your Diane back to the Hudson? Hmm, maybe. Um, 
And anybody else who would like to do this tag, um, I'll take a bunch of people down in the description box because um, I thought it was a really fun tag. And especially when you think, well, I got this, but if money was no object, maybe I would have done this. Um, that just seems really fun. And so um just like to thank you all so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Um, comment down below. I love um, interacting in the comments. Like I keep saying, this is just such a fabulous community and it's just been very welcoming. And I just love getting to interact with people who have um, the same kind of hobby as I do or collection, whatever you want to call it. Um, and um, until next time, please just do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.